I'm Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. We recently completed the first ever World Discipleship Summit here in San Antonio. Over 17,000 gathered here in an incredible event. But behind the scenes, there were some inspiring, courageous stories of disciples being faithful all over the world. We wanted to bring you three of those stories right now from the USA, the Caribbean, and the Middle East. In 2007, my mom died and I lost contact with all my family members and I never thought I would ever connect with them again. Amazingly, at the, at the World Discipleship Summit, I, I accidentally ran into my cousin, who I hadn't seen in, in 35 years. I later found out that, that there, were, there were a total of three disciples in my, in my family that I didn't even know about. And it's amazing that God, God brings us together, not only as spiritual families, but also physical families. To God be the glory. Greetings from Lebanon, sister and brother. I just want to tell you that one day I was praying for God to increase my influence. You know, we are small churches and God answered the prayers. Douglas Jacoby wanted to come to Lebanon to do a conference about does God exist. And I said, I used to work in advertising and I said, you know what, I'm going to advertise God. And this is what we do. We went on TV, on radio, flyers, and you see how much God bless us when we really want to put Him first. When they saw me in TV, they said, you are great, you have the dynamic, we really want you to have your own show on the best Christian TV in the Middle East. One hour every week, and people they call, and I have emails from people, they ask questions, even I could host disciples, and we've been preaching the Word of God. I do the study on TV, and then from TV to another TV, to another TV, to another TV, the best TV shows in the Middle East. So um, I thank God that God is, he is really increasing my influence, and I want you to, to dream big. One of the most inspiring things that happened to us this year in the church in Barbados is that a brother in the church in Boston gave us a call and said he wanted us to study with his dad, who was diagnosed with cancer in Barbados. Well, turns out that we, we did study the Bible with his dad. However, there was no baptistry or pool at the hospital for him to be baptized. So the disciples constructed a makeshift baptistry in the shower cubicle of his room, and we baptized him right there in the hospital. And we're so excited that our brother Norman was able to be baptized and to find his way to his heavenly father before it was too late. God was truly glorified. Whether it's from the United States, the Caribbean, or the Middle East, we're excited to bring these stories to you of courage and faith, individual disciples living it out around the world. God bless, we'll see you back at the website.